Today, we are doubly sad. Once, because ARDM is kind of becoming kind of crappy. Um, I'm usually getting people that are just really terrible and have no idea what the hell they're doing, and then they just keep on dying. And it, it gets to a state where they're kind of level 8 with phase boots, and not, you know, useful boots, just kind of phase boots, and no items, and they're kind of level 8, and they just get a character, they have no idea how to do, what to do with that hero, and they just die, and then it just, it's repeated. And then you're 15 deaths deficit, and then you lose. It, it's just kind of, I don't know, that's kind of what happens. It's usually at least one or two or even three or even four of those people. And what, pe what, what you need to understand is that, what people need to understand is the ARDM requires quite a lot of experience because you're getting a lot of heroes. And you need to understand how to play in that weird environment where you keep changing your hero, which means your role could completely change. So it's it's difficult to wrap your head around. You need to be experienced in the game, and all the experienced people have played it, seen that, yeah, it's okay, it's fun, and then moved on. And now I'm stuck alone with people who, hey, this will be fun, and then they suck. Suck. So I'm not really enjoying ARDM, and I'm kind of considering going back to AP because it's just not working out that much for me. Yeah. The second reason we're sad is because Dark Souls 2 DLC has been delayed for a week. It was supposed to come out on the 24th. The new due date is the 30th for Steam, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I know, not concerned. Concerned as well. I'm very concerned for it. Uh, I, I, I want to play it, and it's delayed, and I'm sad for it. Not much else to say. It's just, um, just another week to wait, I guess. <laughs> Need it now! But okay, never mind. Um, other than that, though, I had a chance to play two co-op games that I want to talk about, which are really, really cool, and I really highly, highly recommend them. I love co-op games. I love co-op. Playing with other people, the, the, the single better joy than playing on by yourself is playing with other people in co-op games. That's, that's just how I see gaming. And I've played two, two games that I think, uh, or at least tested out two games that I think you should definitely check out. One of them is called Enemy Mind. It's been in one of the last, uh, uh, last Humble Bundles. There's so many of them, I don't know which one. But it's a game, it's a Gradius game, okay? A spaceship game where, you know, you're a spaceship here and there's waves of spaceships coming from, from the side and you kill them, basically. And you're usually, you're used to quite a lot of enemies and upgrades and stuff. But in this game, they thought about, you always fight these enemies, and these enemies have weird ships, and these weird ships have weird sh weird patterns and, and weird um, uh, weapons and stuff. And that's really, really cool. So how, how about you'll be able to take over their ships? And this is actually what you do. You have, you always have the ability to take over another ship by kind of like shooting yourself out there. And if you hit another ship, you'll go into it. If not, you'll just go back to your own ship. But you can take over any ship, including boss ships. And, and bosses aren't just one giant ship. They're usually a squadron of good ships, which makes sense in, in this specific game. And also in general. But you take over this ship, and then you have whatever shots that ship has. And when you run out of ammunition, which is a really weird concept in this type of game, you have to, you, you're just, you have no ammunition, so you just take over another ship. And if you die, or if you get hit, you want to move on to another ship. And if you die with whatever ship you're on, then, then you die. Uh, it's a really cool concept, and you can play up to four players. And what the really funky stuff that could happen is if you all take over the same ship, and then you're kind of fighting for control, which is insane and awesome. I only played with two players, me and another player, but it should be really, really, really crazy with four players. And that that's... I want to play with four players. It should be really, really cool. So... Enemy Mind, you should definitely check that out. The other game that I actually played a long time ago on the PlayStation is on Steam, and I finally had a chance to check it out on Steam. It's called Ibn Ob, and it's a platformer, a very basic one where you can only move around and jump. It's specifically, strictly for two players, but the level design is magnificent, the mechanics are magnificent, and it's, it's adorable, and yet you will yell at the screen because it's so difficult and so precise at times, and there's intricate stuff, and you have to kind of figure out, you kind of look at... At the at the because the mechanics are so unique, you kind of look at the level. Okay, what exactly am I supposed to do? Oh, you're supposed to do this, and I'm supposed to do that. And once you figure it out, you also have to execute it. It's a masterfully done platform that you should definitely check out with a friend. And uh, yeah, so we're doubly sad and doubly happy because we're playing with other people co-op. Yeah, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.